fans, I'm here with master painter John. How many armies do you think you've painted now? Oh, I don't know. It's a lot. Be a more lot. than 30, I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, way more than 30. That's like, a lot. 38 years since I've been here, probably. Oh, God. Maybe more than that. Right, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, I'd say conservatively 150. Yeah. That's so, lot, but, but you're recovering from that Tyranids army. I, yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't know. This this has been a great change of pace. So We've, uh, yeah, you're working. Oh, by the way, folks, he's working on... Uh, Imperial Fists. Right. Yeah. Uh, traditionally, one of the harder color schemes to do. Right? Yeah. Luckily, Unless you know what you're doing. Luckily, I got the, the airbrush, so that helps to make the yellow not awful. Yeah, and, and what's great about this, and you guys are about to see it, is that... Um, you can actually see all the stages. stages. Yeah, so could you stages. just go over this and yeah, talk so, about um, basically how you do it? The way the the way the process went was uh, I started by just priming them this kind of this red color to right. have a good base for the for the yellow. Okay. Now are they primed black underneath that? Nope. This no. was a this was a, the the like just the rust, rust colored primer. Yeah, uh, rust. flat red. Okay. Uh, yeah. so I used that and then airbrushed three different colors, ochre brown. Uh, okay, so hold on. Where's yeah. ochre brown on? Uh, you wouldn't see that. Oh, you can't see. So yeah, the lowest. Those. The this is like the the least done, but it's about four, four, okay. four steps in. So okay. uh, airbrush ochre brown, sun yellow, and then a uh, color called flat yellow. Okay. Uh, and then I used a yellow ink to make it uh, to like kind of really brighten the yellows up and mm -hmm. kind of blend it. Okay. And then uh, spot wash with uh, with a brown to get like the really dark crevices. And that's where this guy is. Right. Okay, and then the next step after that is where these guys are, which is to edge it in pale sand. So you get like the, the bright edges and the, the dark recesses. And that's like an ivory color, not yeah, yellow pale, at all. Yeah, pale sand. It's, Looks it's great. It's, it's, a, it's mildly yellow, and but mostly white. So then this is this is the first guy I did uh, sample wise. He's one of the, the sergeants okay. here. So then after that, it's just uh, doing the red and the metal and that's great. Like that. Well, let's let's eat dessert and take a look oh, at yeah. some of the finished product here. So, any comments on these guys? Um, well, those guys I I didn't actually ever the yellow because they're like they have like this guy in particular. He's got like the big red cloak, and I want to get yellow all over it, and right. have to like rebase coat and stuff. So I actually just painted in the the yellows and and right. just blended them a little bit. And then the librarian being blue, always a nice change of pace from the yellow. But. They're pretty similar uh, technique, just with they also have like additional level of highlighting and more uh, more of the more of the different yellows kind of show through on them. Actually, so yeah, you got this this cool guy. He's the salt marine captain. The client wants the the backpacks to be battle damaged, so we got some some different battle damage on them. That's fantastic. And then we got the the vehicle here, which has. Uh, Magnetize obviously, so you can, you can put in things like this, make it look a little more complete. Um, but yeah, basically the instructions is to just make it look like the Imperial Fist on page 151 of the of the Space Marine book, which that Rhino has some battle damage going on and stuff like that. So I tried to replicate that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, thanks, thanks a lot. Also, um, do you have any comments on the new Space Marine book or anything wargaming related? Uh, new Space Marine book pretty pretty decent I mean from what I understand you're going from having like you know 20 to 30 guys and a few vehicles to having like 50 guys and like eight vehicles if you wow. if you play the the, the like the double battle damage yeah you get thing. like 400 extra points and out just of it. free transports yeah so there's some pretty fun stuff you can do like uh, take devastator squads with just two heavy grav cannons and then you get them a free rhino, and they just roll around in that, pop oh. them off their their grab shots. Oh, that's like ten shots sick. that uh, get to reroll ones whenever you use a doctrine, or if you use the devastator doctrine, they get to reroll to hit, I think. And then oh you, take, you need to take like six tactical squads to make this work. So you just take five man tactical squads. They get a free rhino, and you just take uh, one heavy weapon as a heavy grab cannon, and on. Um, it, they'll get to re-roll ones in any time you use the doctrine, and in the tactical doctrine, they can re-roll all their hits, and you just get, I mean, five shots with grab. It's pretty good. Just all adds up. Yeah, 
all adds up to a tougher army. Yeah. I'm uh, hearing good reports on Dark Angels. Too. Yeah, they There's do a the lot same, to love they do about basically them. the same thing for a little cheaper, but they don't get the doctrines. They get uh, like Overwatch, you get full ballistic skill. Or there's um, certain wow. formations where they get the rule where anything with the Raven Wing rule gets to reroll its Jinx save. Oh. So. Wow. Yeah, they have some good stuff, the Dark Angels, which is uh, should be a nice change of pace from their previous book, which was underloved and fell out of any sort of power very quickly. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. All right, well, thanks a lot. And uh, BTP fans, uh, you can uh, look forward very soon to. Uh, you can look forward very soon to uh, the battle report between John and Thomas. Yes. I haven't uh, uh, got that through yet. Also, just wanted to share one other thing before uh, I go, which is a client sent us a thank you note for his project. This client, I was like, wow. This client has matters. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> uh, we, we do get some emails, which is nice. That's actually relatively but common. A handwritten note. Dear Sean, and, and company. Uh, thanks so much for all your hard work to make this project a success. I look forward to using the minis on the table. Isn't that awesome? Yep. All right, well, anyway, uh, natural 20, he uh, signs off as. Like, instead of sincerely? What? No, that's great. No. What are you talking about? Why no. are you making that terrible? No. All right. No. <laughs> Folks, thanks for tuning in. No.